Will the dollar continue its bearish move for the next week also? Well, let's find out in this video where I wrote the interim disclaimer. Hit that like button for me. And if you're new to this channel, do subscribe to get notification every time I upload a new video. See you there. Welcome back guys. As usual, we're gonna do the uh, measures here on uh, YouTube. And for those of you who want to watch the full version are welcome to do so over my site. The link is in the description below. So as you see, we have a very, very bumpy week ahead of us next week. So um, we will start the week on Monday with the most important event is uh, the ECB uh, President Draghi to speech and that due to testify about the economy on the monetary policy before the European Parliament. That's going to be very, very important. Uh, Tuesday, we have uh, government uh, Kuroda to speak as well. Consumer confidence from the USA. And the Super Wednesday, where we're going to have uh, both news from New Zealand and, of course, the FOMC for the US dollar. That's going to be very, very important. And the most important thing is, of course, the FOMC press conference uh, following the uh, fund rate uh, we know that we're gonna get a hike but uh, what we want to know is uh, if this is gonna be a hawkish or a dovish uh, hike after that official cash rate for the New Zealand uh, nothing expected as a hike uh, the market is expecting uh, the same but the same goes here the uh, press conference gonna be very important to see if we're gonna get any hint uh, about uh, forward guidance Thursday as well we have uh, core durable goods order for from the US and the final GDP I'm not expecting fireworks because we've done we've had already um, some um, prelim G GDP numbers and I'm not expecting fireworks on that event uh, once again uh, President Draghi to speak uh, Fed Chair Powell to speak Polos also to speak so uh, Thursday gonna also be a bumpy day uh, be aware of that Friday uh, current account for the sterling and the GDP months on months for the CAD so as you see guys lots and lots of news those are only the major events if we put the medium impact events we've got even more to look at yeah so let's uh, hit the charts and uh, start looking on um, what the majors done last week and what to expect for the upcoming week for the euro as you see we uh, slightly broke above uh, this previous uh, high here and uh, that was uh, an important breakout we still uh, need to see a break about this major candle here and uh, for that to happen um, that need a big catalyst and as you saw earlier we've got a lots of news for next week so if that gonna be the catalyst for that or not let's wait and see but um, what we're looking at right now is um, if the euro to continue to the upside we want to see a break above this structure here if that happened then we are looking for a possible retest and continuation first trouble on the way is this area here and um, after that we have another major level up at this level yeah let's not forget we do have the 200 moving average coming on the way here could act also as possible uh, resistance we do have also this minor swing high on the way that we need to uh, keep an eye at yeah um, so without looking at the um, what the result gonna be after that rate hike and stuff like that um the technicals for now um saying more upside for uh, the euro i'm expecting at least um fibonacci extension of this leg um toward around the 1618 yeah so uh, what we're looking at is uh, this leg here and uh, that we get 
leg two toward the 1618 if that happened that will uh, be at the same level at this previous high yeah just above uh, the 200 moving average on the daily right now so that's it if uh, you want to look for more upside for the euro otherwise we should be seeing this uh, level here as a major resistance for now and um, it could be also used uh, for uh, maybe short term um, counter trend counter this up move uh, trades if you get any bearish evidence on lower time frame to get a possible bounce from that area to at least a retest to this level yeah so if we go down to a four hour time frame uh, you see it more clearly which uh, range we've been trading in this uh, range here now the price broke we were expecting a possible retest and another push toward this level yeah so once again this area here is the uh, most important level for uh, the resistance on the way up you need to keep an eye on that for more upside as i said you want to see a break above that otherwise um, any bearish evidence at this level could signal a possible um, short scenario at least a short term scenario on uh, euro usd sterling usd let me check that yes this is the right chart daily time frame as you see we broke this um, downtrend line we did a nice break a retest and a continuation but last friday we've got a very strong bearish move after those uh, brexit uh, headlines we we've got that uh, uh, the European are rejecting um, what uh, Theresa May has said so far and uh, rejecting uh, her plans so that's why we've got this uh, strong uh, bearish engulfing on Friday uh, the levels to watch for the sterling USD is still um, this area down here uh, this BOE low level down here I have on the chart so around the 1.30 uh, um, 25 even the 1.300 still an important level so we have this area to watch as possible support level and probably a bounce from this level as you see the rsi on the four hour is already at the extremely oversold here and uh, making a bullish hidden divergence as as well so keep an eye on this level um, there is a possibility for a bounce from this level back toward this area up here uh, for more downside of course you want to see a break and hold below 1.30 uh, and then probably a retest and another push lower toward the monthly pivot point but uh, i am very interested uh, to see what will happen on this area especially that we have so much news events uh, coming next week uh, be careful and be aware of that yeah usd jappy daily time frame still bullish we have a rise uh, rounded bottom here or um, a continuation inverted head and shoulder one could say as you see here uh, shoulder head shoulder we broke the neckline on the daily as you see and um, i think uh, this pair will continue to at least uh, test this level up here the level around the 113.20 is a possible um, market objective to at least tag this area or tag this high um, as for now we are still inside this um, ascending channel as you see and uh, we've been trading these uh, movements uh, in the room because it was easy trading as you see every time we make a higher high and we wait for a higher low another higher high another higher low retest of previous structure and this last push was also a break above previous structure yeah so the first level to look at is if the market gonna retest this uh, previously broken structure here that is most of the time um, what the market will do is um, a retest of a broken structure if we get any bullish evidence around this level the 112.50 area 112.40 as you see here uh, could be a possible level for the market uh, to make another push as a 
to complete the market objective and that is in my opinion probably to reach the 11320 okay i still see as well the uh, area here around the monthly r1 also as a good uh, support level even if this channel got broken like this we still could uh, look for bullish evidence if the market does uh, this correction to the downside because that will give us an even better um, risk to reward um, trade um, if we look at it like this we're gonna go with a stop loss uh, below our previous low here uh, add an ATR below that or so and uh, targeting uh, the previous high we do not need to target the extreme high as a first target you could uh, target um, the bodies of the previous candles and that will still give you um, almost a one to two and of course target twos could be uh, that major swing high uh, up here as i said and uh, that will give you almost around 90 to 95 pips uh, in profit uh, for this uh, move to end or to call this move as an ended move uh, we want to see um, a break below previous structure here if the market break below this structure then this uptrend uh, is invalidated and uh, we could see a retest and maybe another push toward um, these levels down here around the 111.60 111.50 somewhere in this area yeah so uh, this chart is very very interesting because it's been behaving very well and um, a clear structure especially on the four hour as you see higher highs higher lows that what we want to see in a trending market and um, once again as soon as we break above previous high we start looking for a retest and in my opinion the deeper retest the better because that would give us a much better entry so do not be afraid of those uh, deeper uh, corrections yeah Aussie USD also uh, short term uh, bullish but uh, as you see here soon we are testing or we tested already the top of this uh, descending channel uh, there is a nice good momentum we had this inverted head and shoulder here shoulder head shoulder and now we are testing uh, the um, descending channel once again so there is still um, good momentum here but the rsi uh, is soon at the extreme overbought we start making already um bearish hidden divergence on the uh, rsi as you see between this top and this top so um, we need to keep an eye on that um in my opinion uh, for more upside here we um, for a longer term upside as you see we start having higher low we broke another high here with putting another higher high but the major structure is actually above these uh, this swing high and that need to be taken out for uh, more upside for a longer term upside yeah the pair is still below the 200 moving average i think it is also below the, the 100 on the daily let me put that on the chart yeah so it is below the 100 as well 50 moving average is tested right now so at the moment we have the 50 moving average this red one could act as possible uh, resistance we do have the top of the channel and we do have this previous structure that uh, need to be all that need to be broken to uh, for the pair to continue higher so as for now watch this level for a possible at least a possible uh, maybe a possible correction level yeah as you see on the four hour time frame the move looks uh, a bit extended uh, if we put a fibonacci extension here from the low to the high and back up um, you see that we reach it uh, around the 1.414 uh, uh, at the uh, fibonacci extension um, for more upside or if you want to buy toward uh, the monthly r1 i would prefer to see a retest to this uh, broken neckline down here yeah so uh, that area would be uh, the level i would watch for uh, a retest uh, something like this and then a push uh, to the upside toward 
to test these highs. I think the market objective is to test these highs anyway and uh, the monthly R1. So uh, keep an eye on this uh, neckline for next week. Um, you could also draw a Fibonacci retracement and see if this, uh, if we have any confluence. We could draw two of them to see if we have any uh, Fibonacci clusters. So on the whole leg, we have we have the 38.2 happening at this uh, neckline, and just below that is the 618 from this whole leg to the upside. So you could use this area as your possible uh, kill zone to watch for a possible uh, correction toward that level. USD CAD, daily time frame, it did a double bottom here-ish. Uh, of course, uh, it is only a retest for now. It's not a um, confirmed double bottom. This is have a lot of move to the upside to be confirmed, but once again, guys, it looks heavy. So we broke the neckline. We put another leg flag and another break. And now uh, support at monthly S1 and previous low. Below that, we do have the 200 uh, moving average. Uh, we'll keep using this channel despite the break. We have a nice channel here. One, two, three. Uh, we broke below and retest above below and then the retest so i will keep having this channel as it is right now and use uh, that since the price is back inside the channel uh, for more downside we of course need to see a break below this structure if that happened then we probably gonna test these areas down here on the pair for our time frame you see that this leg is also looks to be extended we could have some correction from this level, but uh, the resistance is uh, at around the 1.300. Uh, uh, this area have been a good uh, flip zone support and resistant area. You could watch up here for a possible uh, bearish evidence if you want to trade a continuation of this move to the downside. Any break above that could uh, open the way for more upside. And if you want to really uh, short this pair more, or if you are holding a short and hoping for more, you want to see a break below this structure. If that break happened, then we gonna be trading and testing these lows or even these lows down here, yeah, toward this area. So keep an eye on uh, that structure. It is clear one, if broken, we will start testing this first and then this and after that you see that the door will open toward this uh, uh, bottom of the channel down here yeah so um, very interesting chart um, as well on this one usd chief daily time frame still looking bearish last friday we had a nice push uh, from uh, this level down here just below the monthly s1 but it it is still bearish we broke below the 200 moving average tested it twice and uh, broke another low and uh, kept moving lower so it is still bearish uh, and one should be looking for more downside uh, let me take this off we had this idea in the room that if we break above retest and continuation or to the downside which happened uh, last week so we got the downside and we traded this to the downside it was an easy flag traded here on the one hour nice flag break and that was the continuation yeah so on the four hour time frame you see that we also on that time frame we still uh, making lower lows and lower highs uh, the first area i'm looking at uh, for a possible um, rejection or a reversal is uh, at this level down here uh, this support area could be a possible resistance level to watch and I want to see this deeper correction once again for a better uh, um, risk to reward trade yeah so if we want to trade this first retest of the structure your I mean your stop loss need to be way above 
uh, here 100 pips and your next target going to be 50 pips below that because who knows if we're going to break this level or not so the deeper correction is the better and uh, if that deeper correction happened that we maybe happen to make a trade from this level then that would be a much better idea to put a stop loss um, above an ATR maybe above the high here and uh, targeting the body of um, the previous low that will give you uh, 1.5 R almost uh, 98 pips as target one that would be a great idea if that happened and of course target twos you could start looking toward uh, monthly s2 and this uh, previous support level as well if the break uh, to the downside happened now if the fundamentals change the market sentiment change and um, the bulls really enter the market i'm not going long before i see a break above this level then retest and the real problem gonna start happening around these areas up here as you see so uh, you need to uh, keep an eye on that uh, for more upside this high need to be broken for more upside yeah so that was it for the youtube version of this video i have also an announcement for you guys the registration for the mentoring program has started and i have an offer for you only the YouTube subscribers and that is $200 off the whole upcoming week this will be open so all you need to do is use this coupon code when you registrate yourself to the course and you will get that offer this is the last time I will have this price tag on the mentoring program so if you're really willing to take your trading to the next level welcome to subscribe and join our community thanks a lot See you next week.